Write a C program to split an array into two arrays from user specified position. So let's look at an example. If user enters position as 4, then A of 10 will be split at index 3. The elements from index 0 to 3 will be transferred to first array and elements from index 4 to 9 will be transferred to second array. That's what we need to accomplish with this program. For that, let's look at a code snippet. This for loop executes from 0 to 9. So inside this for loop, we check if the index is less than user entered position. In that case, we transfer the elements of A to first array. Okay. If this index is greater than the user entered position, then we transfer all those elements to second array. That's it. Simple logic. So let's use this same code in our program. I'll take three array variables, A, the original array, and array 1 and array 2 to store the split arrays. Okay, POS to store the position, I for for loop, K1 and K2 as index of array 1 and array 2. Okay, so let me declare or define our macro n. I'll give 10 to it. So let the size of all these three arrays be n. Why? Because if user enters position as 10 itself, then I need to transfer all the elements of A to first array. In that case, we need a size of n itself. Okay, that's the maximum size we require to accomplish to, to provide some meaningful output. Okay. Now we'll ask the user to enter percentage D integer numbers and the value is present inside the macro n. Now initialize i to 0 because index of array starts from 0. Iterate through this for loop until i is less than n and for each iteration of this for loop increment the value of i by 1. So for each iteration prompt the user to enter an integer value. So once the, in the iterations complete, a of n will have 10 elements. 10 numbers, integer numbers entered by the user. Now let's ask the user to enter the position to split this array into two arrays. Enter position to split the array into two. Scanf, store the user entered number, integer number into address of integer variable pos pos. Now let's loop through this a of 10 so initialize i to 0, iterate this for loop until i is less than n for each iteration increment the value of i by 1. So here I'll check if the index is less than the user specified position. So we are looping through, we are visiting each element of array A. So if index is less than user, user specified position, then transfer that element to first array okay i'll assign k1 here let me initialize this to zero because index starts from zero so each element has to be stored inside successive indexes so i'll do plus plus else if index is greater than pos greater than or equal to pos user specified position then transfer all the elements of a of i to second array so index i'll i'll give k2 so index starts from zero so let me initialize k2 to zero as well so zero and increment the value of k2 by one whenever we store values into it so now let me print out the elements of first array and second array onto the console window. So elements of first array, which is present inside ARR percentage D. So the value is present inside variable K1. That's the number of elements present inside first array. So for loop, iterate this from zero to K1 minus one. So printf print whatever is present inside first array so that's the maximum for first array so percentage d slash t slash t is uh, tab character three spaces okay so this for loop iterates from 0 to k minus 1 okay 
so let me copy this and paste it and display the second array elements oh i have error one error two okay error one and error two k2 k2 here and i think i misspelled it a r r of one i guess a r r of one a r r of two okay so let me fix that that's it let me compile this program and run it so i'll give one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten i'll give three now this array will be split and first array will have one two three and the second array will have four five six seven eight nine and ten so let's check that okay the first array has elements one two three and the second ar second array has elements from four to ten so the index seven and three three plus seven is ten which is equal to the original array size so this is the logic so let's revisit this logic once again let me explain this for you so so in the first loop first for loop we accept elements for a of n in the second statement here we ask the position to split that a of n and this in this second for loop we split the array into two based on user position okay we store n everything before that position to array one and after that position to array two this for loop to print the elements of first array and this for loop to print the elements of second array very very simple and straightforward program okay let me run this once again looks nice to me i'll start from 11 now 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 and 20 let me split at 7 so 11 to 17 will be stored in first array 18 19 and 20 will be stored in second array let's check that and and it's working you could split this array at any any interval okay so again 7 plus 3 is 10 which is equal to the size of original array that works you could try for different uh, positions to split that a of 10 into two arrays okay so please visit the link present in the description section of this youtube video for source code notes and discussion about this topic please stay subscribed to our youtube channel and blog share this video with your friends on whatsapp telegram linkedin twitter facebook etc and please do not forget to like this video on youtube thank you